Hello and welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Coleman. And unless the real Coleman's been abducted by aliens, I'm Coleman. Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at a new item I just received. It's called the Camp Made 4-Piece Dutch Oven Tool Set. So stay tuned, we're going to be opening this up. Alright, welcome back to Grilling and Chilling with Coleman. As I said before, my name is Coleman, and we're out here in the GNC kitchen today. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit that little bell, it'll let you know when I put out new videos. Now, one of my favorite ways to cook outdoors has always been in a cast iron Dutch oven. Now, 40 years ago, my scoutmaster made us a peach cobbler in a Dutch oven, and it was amazing. And from that point on, I was hooked. Now since then I've made thousands of recipes in my Dutch oven. Things like green chili chicken enchiladas, pineapple upside down cake, and one of my favorite foods, pizza. Now my wife will tell you one of the reasons she fell in love with me was because of my cobbler. A little known fact about the cast iron Dutch oven is, is it actually wasn't invented by the Dutch. It was invented by a foundry owner in England. A gentleman by the name of Andrew Darby took a trip to Holland in 1704 and he saw a similar cooking vessel made out of brass. He brought that idea back to his foundry and recreated it out of cast iron. Now the Dutch oven eventually made its way to the new colonies where a well-known blacksmith worked to perfect them. That blacksmith added the three short stubby legs to the bottom to keep it out of the coals, also added the flange on the lid to keep the coals on top. He then sold them throughout the villages through traveling peddlers. You might have heard of that blacksmith. His name was Paul Revere. <laughs> yes, that Paul Revere. My wife and I had the opportunity to travel to Boston last year where we visited Paul Revere's original home and blacksmith shop. It was an amazing trip that I would recommend to anybody who loves American history. Now the Dutch oven has not changed much in the last 300 years. It's been made the same way by several companies like Griswold, Wagner, and now Lodge. What has changed is the tools that we use to cook with them. For years, I cooked on the ground and handled my ovens with gloves and pliers. Hey, times have changed. Now I have a Dutch oven table and special lid lifters. Now I've had my eye on this tool set by Campmate for a few years, but I was really never in position to spend the money on them. Well, that changed this week. This is what I'm talking about. It's called the Camp Made 4-Piece Dutch Oven Tool Set. Now, the box says it contains a lid lifter and server, the charcoal holder, a flip grill, and a kickstand. It says it will fit inside of a standard 12-inch Dutch oven, and it'll work with Dutch ovens from 6 inches to 16 inches. I'm going to be using a 10, 12, and a 14 today to test it. What interested me in this is that it says it will turn my Dutch oven into a portable grill, a vegetable steamer, a pizza oven, and a smoker. Man, it's been killing me not to open this box up before now. But let me preface this by saying, I bought this. It was not given to me, and you're going to get my honest opinion on this tool set. I purchased the entire set on Amazon for about $110. Now, each of the parts in the kit can be purchased individually, just to cut down on the cost, or if you don't feel like you need all of the tools in the set. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what's inside. All right, I see our instructions in here. I'm gonna set those right there. I've got a, uh, looks like it's part of a, a lid lifter. Lay this down. We've got some big pieces in here. All right, let me set that box to the side. Looks like we have the stand, a grill, a uh, charcoal tray, and some legs. All right, so these are the items that came out of the box. We've got the flip grill, the charcoal tray, this is the lid lifter and the serving stand, and then we have the tripod lid lifter. We'll take these items one at a time, 
talk about them, see how they fit on the Dutch ovens, and then I'll give you my thoughts on each one. We're gonna start off with the tripod lid lifter. It actually comes in two different pieces. There's a brass button here on the side and a hole, and these just pop together and it sits. So when we go to lift our lid off, so here's my 10 inch Dutch oven. When we go to lift it up, we want to take and hook the hook and then it just pulls off directly and then sits. So it looks like it's made well. It's pretty sturdy. I really like the design of it. I like that it keeps your lid off the ground. You can set it to the side on your Dutch oven table. It gives you an opportunity to stir or work with whatever, whatever you're cooking with. And then you can take it and put it back on your Dutch oven. So I really like this lid lifter. You know, it's different than this old style that I had where I hook it and lift it off. Then I've got to find some place to put it where this one again, just lifts it off, sets it to the side and keeps it out of the dirt. So, so next, let's take a look at the uh, lid lifter and serving uh, stand. So this has three legs that pops out from the bottom. And if you'll notice down here, it says one, two, and three. So I'm assuming that's the order that you fold them down in. So I'm gonna unfold these three legs. So to put it back together, I'd go one, two, and three to put them back together. Now here in the center is a spring with a pipe over the top of it, and then a hook that has a bunch of notches in there. And I'm sure those notches are gonna be used to fit onto the charcoal tray later when we look at it. So let's turn it back over. And I'm gonna bring my 12 inch Dutch oven down. Let's set that on top, reach down and hook it. So it's got three little legs here that actually go down and fit over the lip of the Dutch oven. And then you push down on the spring and hook it onto your, the loop on top of your lid. And then I can lift it up directly, set it to the side and do what I need. So it's real similar to the ability of the tripod that allows you to take it off and set it somewhere. But this allows you to take the lid, set it off to the side, and that is a lot more stable. Now, it does take a lot more room, so you're gonna have to have a bigger space in order to set it down. I was cooking some queso here a few weeks ago, and I had it in my 12-inch Dutch oven. And after I took the coals off, I noticed it started cooling down pretty quick. One of the things I wish I had was some coals to put on the bottom in order to serve it. What I like about this is I can actually put my pot right back on top so I can keep my coals on the lid down here, radiating heat up to the bottom of my Dutch oven to keep whatever I have in here nice and toasty and warm, and then use this to serve our guests out of. So it's a nice stand, way to store the ashes on the bottom, plus a way to keep it warm. I really like that. Another thing I saw about this rack is taking this and actually flipping it over. And I can use this lid as a type of griddle or a, or a skillet. I could fry eggs, bacon. I can make whatever I want up here on top by taking the charcoal tray. Now it has two extendable legs that pull out, which makes it easy to open that up. So I squeeze here and it opens up the, the mouth. Now inside this little hole, there's actually notches here. And I'm assuming they match up with the notches that are down here on the rod. So let's slide that in from the side. Let's see how well that locks in. And it locks in right on the, the rod that's down here around that. Gives me some air holes across the front. And I could lower and raise this 
depending on how much heat I want to get to my griddle that I'm using here. So I can take it all the way down or I can bring it all the way up for a heated surface. Now, with this setup, this also allows me to put a pizza here on top, bring my coals up real close, take my 12 inch Dutch oven and put it right over the top and then put some coals right here on top. That allows me to have a pizza oven and that's pretty nifty. I do have a pizza oven that sits over here, my Uni Pro. Uh, it takes a little bit, it takes wood pellets, takes a little bit to heat it up, but I can see where if I wanted to do an individual pizza, this might be a nice addition to have and just bake that pizza at a higher temperature. I could see that would be a really good benefit. The last item we're gonna take a look at is this flip grill. It's made out of stainless steel, it's pretty heavy gauge. It has a loop here in the bottom, and that's for the hook on bottom of this to hook to. There's also three half circles or third circles here in the corners, and that's for these three legs to, to fit on. Now I'm also noticing that here, on this one, right inside here, it says number two. So I'm assuming that that matches up with the number two leg that I have here. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna put it right on here. Now, one thing I am noticing is these legs need to be brought in slightly in order for it to fit onto this grill. And then I'm gonna take the hook and hook it around that little grill. So that gives me a stand, so flipped upside down now. Gives me a stand, gives me a grill. Then I can take my charcoal basket, lay it right here on top, and I can actually use this as a camp cooker. Put my charcoal in there, put my steaks up here, my fish, my vegetables, whatever I want to grill. I can grill that right here on top, right on top of the charcoal, if I'm gonna do a slower cook at a lower temperature, I lower it down. If I wanna do a higher temperature, I'll raise it up and use it that way. Another thing I noticed about this that was on the box is if I was to fill this full of charcoal, put me some wood chunks on top of that charcoal, put whatever meat I'm going to be putting on top of here, and then I'm gonna take my Dutch oven and I'm gonna flip it over on top. And what that does is it turns it into a smoker. So I've got the hot coals, the wood chunks that I have in there, and going up inside and smoking whatever I have inside the oven. If it wasn't the right temperature, I can put a temperature probe in there. I may, maybe even could put a couple of pieces of charcoal here on top to help raise that temperature or take them off. Or I can lower my tray up or down to, to adjust my temperature inside my little smoker. So I really like that. And I could see being able to use this on camping trips. It's a nice light little camping grill. I could see being able to take this with my 12 inch Dutch oven and really being able to use this out in the field. A lot of times I like to bake pies in my Dutch oven. And typically what I'll do is I'll take a pie pan, I'll flip it upside down and I'll put the pie that I'm baking right on top of that. So it gets that pie that I'm baking off the bottom away from the coals that are underneath, puts it about in the middle of the, of the Dutch oven, put the lid on, put my coals on top, and then bake it at whatever temperature I'm needing. Well, what I can do with this now is I can actually sit that right down inside. I can set my pie on top and then bake my pie inside this Dutch oven with the spacer that I have in here. Another thing I can do with it is I could put water in the bottom of my Dutch oven and put vegetables here on top. I could steam some broccoli, steam some cauliflower, or, you know, maybe some asparagus, put that on top of the grill, put some charcoal underneath, and then steam that right here in my Dutch oven, so turn it into a little steamer. So this seems to have a wide variety of uses. Now, one of the things that said that it would do is that all of this would fit inside of a 12 inch Dutch oven. So this is my 12 inch, Let's see if it'll do this. So these legs actually get pushed in. So those are extendable. I'm gonna push those in. I'm gonna take my grill. And if you'll notice, they're actually cut out here on the sides. 
Got a little opening here. I'm assuming that's to fit over. It's not. Because of this knob here, because of the knob that's on here, it won't fit down on top of the charcoal grill. So I'm gonna put that there. Then I'm gonna take the stand. I'm gonna fold down leg number one, leg number two, and now leg number three. And I'm gonna set that down inside just like that. But the lid won't close. Let me flip this over and see if that makes a difference. Maybe that'll help sit it down a little bit further. All right, so it doesn't quite close all the way, but if I had a uh, Dutch oven bag, it seems to work well with my, with my 12 inch. I've got my 14 inch, my 10 inch, and I've got an aluminum one here. I'm gonna test it out with those. Uh, in future dates, I'm gonna be doing some uh, additional cooks with these to try them out. But let me uh, get all this wrapped up. Let me bring the camera up a little bit and uh, we'll finish out. Well, we got everything put back away. It fit inside my 12 inch Dutch oven real nice. Once I put that inside of a bag, it's gonna make a nice carrying case for all of those tools, whether I'm going tailgating or on an overnight camp out. I did put some links in the description below for the entire kit, as well as the individual items. So if you wanna pick those up, feel free to click on those. When you use those links, it does support the channel so I can continue to bring you some great videos just like these. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing and then clicking that bell button. It'll let you know when we come out with some new great videos. So I wanna thank you again for joining me on Grilling and Chilling with Coleman. I'm Coleman and we'll see you next time.